I want to go to US politics now. And, of course, the president's birthday yesterday. Now, this is a bit random, I know, but for this next interview to make sense, I think you need to know about Grandpa Simpson from the TV show The Simpsons. So here's a reminder. So I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. No, to take the ferry cost a nickel. And in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them. Give me five bees for a quarter, you'd say. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. The important thing was that I had an onion on my belt, which was a style at the time. <laughs> so you got to keep that in your mind, the idea of the senile Simpsons, char Simpsons character who keeps telling pointless stories. Keep that in mind as I discuss President Joe Biden with Kristen Tate. I start by congratulating her on the president's birthday. Oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, you know, I don't think the media is spending a lot of time covering this, especially since... Uh, you know, his age has been such a big factor in this upcoming election. Uh, many ma Americans, the majority at this point, think this guy is way too old to be the leader of the free world. So the media is not doing a whole lot to draw attention to the fact <laughs> that he's turned 81. Well, Joe Biden, uh, he tried to laugh it off a little bit. At least I think he did. Either that or he was out by 21 years. Have a look. And by the way, I, it's my birthday today, and they can actually sing birthday music. I just want you to know it's difficult turning 60. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> It was probably a deliberate mistake. He said something about someone saying birthday to him. To your idea. Oh, I know. It, it, good Lord. It is just so embarrassing. Did you ever watch The Simpsons, Chris? I mean, he's oh, literally I... like Grandpa Simpson. He just kind of <laughs> fumbles and fumbles around and gets lost and mumbles to himself. But it's far more terrifying now because this is the leader of the free world. Uh, but here's a great Chris, Here's a great birthday gift for Uncle Joe. Uh, the polls are showing him way behind Donald Trump, some polls at this point. Um, I was looking at a Harvard cat. Harris poll that has Trump all the way up at 48%, Biden's down at 41%. And you look at these swing states, Nevada, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Trump is up in all of them. So, you know, Joe Biden's got to be getting nervous. And uh, the fact that he's one year older now is just going to harm him even more while this is the main concern for voters out there, his age and his mental acuity. Well, of course, America is gearing up for Thanksgiving and you have this ceremony where the president always pardons a couple of turkeys. He seems to make a meal of this. Have a look. Now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or or, or Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. Kristen, explain to us what he was saying there, please. I, I honestly, Chris, I wish I could. I really wish I could. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get the cringe off my face after watching that. It is just every day you think it can't get worse, and it somehow does. I, I, I mean, the fact that this is our president, while the entire globe, it seems, is in turmoil, is truly frightening. He can't even well, get through a coherent sentence in the English language. He can't. And uh, I think the pop culture wizards uh, tell us he got mixed up between Taylor Swift there and Britney Spears. But you, even an old bloke like me knows that Taylor Swift's all about the concerts and the tickets at the moment. And she's been in South America as well. So the president was uh, way off beam there. But his press secretary is putting on a brave face. Our perspective is that it's not about age, it's about the president's experience. That's what we believe. And it's, you know, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Can he really get re-elected on his record? 
course not. And, and his press secretary, she just speaks in cliches. She literally says something that's not true and follows it up with the proof is in the pudding. Uh, Biden hasn't accomplished anything. Everything is worse now that this man is in office, office uh, inflation is up 19% since 2020. Uh, we have an open border with migrants flooding in. We have all of these wars breaking out around the world. Uh, absolutely, this is not a president who can win re-election based on his record. That is delusional. All right, let's have a look at Donald Trump. He's made a good use of the president's birthday by highlighting his own good health. He's submitted himself for a health check and he's put out a letter from the medicos here. And it says in part that President Trump's overall health is excellent and his cognitive exams were exceptional. He has reduced his weight through an improved diet and continued daily physical activity while maintaining a rigorous schedule. No surprise, really, that he's in uh, rude good health. It just looks that way, Kristen, but a strategic move to contrast himself with Joe Biden at this time. It's easy to forget, Chris, that Trump is only a couple years younger than Joe Biden. Yeah. And the guy just has this insane amount of energy. I mean, I've seen him in person a number of times. I've met him and he is magnetic. He's energetic and he does not seem like he is anywhere near as old as Joe Biden. I don't know what his secret is, but it is not surprising to hear that he's in good health. And it really does show people do age at different rates. Joe Biden is not you know, as with it as Trump is at just a few years older than the former president. Yeah, that's just a fact. It's uh, it's not indicative of other people his age. It's just a sad fact about the leader of the free world at the moment. Just before I let you go, Kristen, we mentioned Thanksgiving. Uh, in America, everybody gearing up for Thanksgiving is such an important community and, and family occasion. It's under threat, though, from the woke left. Explain that to us. Yes. Well, the left, they don't like to celebrate Thanksgiving because they absolutely hate the United States of America. So in that, instead, they like to celebrate something they call Native American Heritage Day. It's just another attempt by the left to tear down uh, the United States and our institutions. And, you know, at this point, it's predictable. They do this with all of our traditional holidays at this point and everything traditional in America. They just hate their own country. So the way our Australia Day is now called Invasion Day by some, your Thanksgiving is being called Native American Heritage Day. That's exactly right. And it's not just, you know, a few fringe people saying this. I mean, major institutions are blasting out emails this week saying, Happy Native American Heritage Day. It's, just, you know, I roll my eyes at this stuff. Uh, it's been it, going on for years now. It hardly, uh, it hardly rolls off the tongue, but um, enjoy the turkey anyway. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Kristen. Thank you very much, Chris. Always a pleasure. Yeah, she's great, isn't she?